It's my side or no side, ain't no in-betweens All my niggas serve that fatty, we just want the green Load up them yappers, broad day, if you play with me Yeah, yeah, fuck my enemy It's my side or no side, ain't no in-betweens All my niggas serve that fatty, we just want that green Load up them yappers, broad day, if you play with me Yeah, yeah fuck my enemy Play with my paper, I don't care, bitch, I'm a bush, yeah. We got Jacobs, we got y'all, but shit, we in for red. If you play, I swear to God, and I'm gonna send them there. Yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. What's going on, Bully Fam? We back again with another video. Man, I'm super excited today. We got a lot going on over here at Queen City Bullies, man. So y'all make sure y'all stay tuned. Watch the video all the way to the end, man. My girl Sugar Bear, she done came in heat, y'all. Check her out. She looking super good. Super good, man. She done popped. She almost two. She'll be two in May, as you can see. She is super thick. Got that muscle stock. Look at her. She ready to be bred too. Stop, girl. Get off the toots. Y'all see my girl Toots. I wanna job. I wanna do an update on Toots as well. Toots is our no limit daughter. Check her out. Looking super good. Come on, Toots. up on the table so y'all can see her man she looking real good like i said this no limit daughter she is about four months she's stupid thick too y'all look at her look at her man she's scrubbing the ground she low to the floor for show chocolate i love this girl right here man Walk over here with me. i'm gonna put her up on the table man so y'all can see how small and compact this girl is, man. She the truth. Like I said, man, this no limit daughter right here, man. He definitely, definitely blessed us with this girl right here, man. Look at her. She ain't never been on the table before, so I'm sure she's quite nervous. But look how low to the flow she is, y'all. Look at that. Look at that, man. She's scrubbing the ground, like I said, man. She's super clean. She got them elbows. She got bone on her for sure. I love her mug too. No limit definitely stamped her with that mug. Sore from the side. Y'all can check her out from the side, man. Look at that right there, man. That's a real bull right there, y'all. Like I said, man, she's scrubbing the ground. Shout out to my guy, Jatan. We did a collaboration with his girl, Lola. Man, that shit smacked. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Y'all drop a comment. Let me know what y'all think about Toots, man. Y'all ain't, uh, I may have shown Toots one time when I first got her, but look at her, man. She's stupid, this, man. Yes, yeah, sir. This is Queen City Bullies Tootsie Roll, a.k.a. Toots. You hear me? Y'all drop a comment for my girl, man. She looking super good. Check Suge out. Like I said, Suge is in heat. She actually, Suge is actually ready to be bred, y'all. So, my guy Gino, shout out to my guy Gino from On Lane Kennels. He on the way right now. He finna pull up with his guy, with his uh, boy Love Foot. Love Foot, crazy. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. When y'all see this boy Love Foot, the matchup, that I got for him. Y'all know I don't really go outside the yard, but we done did so many in-house greetings over the years. Y'all know we two times believe them. So I'm thinking ahead, I'm kind of thinking ahead, trying to switch it up a little bit, bring in some new blood, bring in a little bit of a new look so I can kind of tweak it a little bit. Y'all gonna see, man. Like I said, we got a lot going on. After I do this breeding with Little Foot, I'm gonna show y'all some pups that we got available. We got a lot of pups available, y'all. We got Frenchies available, we got Bullies available. We got micros available. So like I said, make sure y'all stay tuned to the end of the video. I'm gonna bust some of the pups out for y'all so y'all can see what we got available. We got uh, a beloved daughter that's gonna be available. Like I said, I got a female Frenchie, Pabal, uh blue and tan Frenchie that's gonna be available. Man, just stay tuned. Like I said, we got quite a few things going on over here. Man, check them out though. Check the bulls out. Stop playing, man. That Young Believe Nation, we about to go all the way, all the way up with it, like I said. This outhouse breeding going to smack in a real major way. Yes, sir. Y'all stay tuned. Yes, sir. What's going on, Bully Fam? We right here with my guy Gino from Online Kennels. He just pulled up on me with this boy Lil Foot. Man, y'all already know I'm super excited. It's about to go down. My guy Gino, he one of the finest out of the city of Cincinnati, man. Y'all make sure y'all tap in with my guy. Tell them where they can find you at, bro. Man, Online Bullies, uh, Facebook, 
Instagram also, but I want to say it's a pleasure even doing this breed and then finally getting together with Bron. Yes, sir. Yes, We've both sir. been in the city putting things together for years. We've been putting this collab together. It's a blessing. I'm definitely appreciated, man. It's going yeah, down. For sure, for sure. Pay long, attention. It's long overdue, y'all. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. Me and him been on each other for years. Been breeding. I want to say around the same time. I've been breeding since like 2016. Yeah, yeah. yeah so we've been breeding for a long time. Been knowing each other for a while, but we never did a breeding together. But it's officially, officially time to make it happen, man. I'm taking one of my best productions. This is Sugar Bear out of my uh, Believe and Brown Sugar Litter. And this is this boy, Lovefoot. Tell him who Lovefoot off of. This is off of uh, Ronin to, to Hop Out Daughter Chanel. So, like said, some of our best productions going head to head. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is a banger for real. For sure, for sure. If you're if you out of the city, man, you already know how much how much how special this breed is. Not just for me, not just for Gino, but for the city all together, man. We're doing it for the city, y'all, for sure, for sure. And like I said, like I always say, I'm going to keep it low to the flow. Keep the clean and correct, the structure, bone, muscle, and the neck and shoulders, y'all. You already know what it is, man. Show the from the side so they can see how crazy he is, man. Yeah, man. I seen Lil Foot like when he was like, I want to say like three or four months old, and I knew then when he had him up on the table at this uh, at this so fun show that we seen each other at, man. I'm like, man. And that was, uh, matter of fact, I think that was a lookout for the cookout. Mm -hmm. That was, that was like over October, a year ago. Yeah. As soon as I seen him in my mind, I instantly started thinking, like, I got to put a foot into the, into the plan. So I'm going away from him. For sure, for sure, yeah. And then I produced this girl, uh, Sugar Bear, like I said, out of my boy, Believe in Brown Sugar. And I just feel like they match up super nice. Yeah. He, he right around her size. He just a little bit shorter than her, so y'all already know we're going to shorten him up. Even more, bring him even lower to the flow, spread up the ground with it, if you will. But we're going to keep it clean, keep the neck and shoulders. Look at that boy, man. He got that basketball head. I ain't even going to lie to y'all, man. Y'all drop a comment. Let me know what y'all think about this breed, about this matchup, man. Shout out to my guy Ken, too, in Chicago. My guy Ken, he came to pick up a dog from me. He was like, man, why you don't uh, do no breeds with that guy all night? You got people out of Chicago. I know that's love, that's love. Yes, sir. Like I said, man, we doing it big out here in the 513, man. Y'all make sure y'all tap in with us, man. I'm super excited about this. This breed right here, my goal for this breed is to add in some new blood. Y'all know I've been going crazy with that Young Believe Nation blood, that Believe, that Believe blood. I done doubled down. Now we got two times Believe, so now it's time to, to switch it up and go with another blood. He got that Veneno blood in him, but I feel like the blood that he got in him is going to go good. With the blood I got. Y'all gonna see. Watch how this breed is quick though, like I said. They match up super good. She's super clean, he clean, he got that, he got that apple head that I need to put on my female. And that bone, man. Y'all already know what time to make clean it up for him. But I want him to on the breed. So that's that's it. Yes, sir. So y'all tap in, man. Don't be on the outside looking in. Don't be scared. Come on and speak. Come on in, man. I see something y'all like. Y'all make sure y'all follow my guy on Instagram too. I'm gonna drop his Instagram right here. Y'all make sure y'all follow him. Like I said, that boy Lil Foot is open for stud. He's been putting in work too. I've been seeing some fire productions coming off of it. Y'all better see I'm about to get in where I fit in. Stop playing. Yes, yes sir. sir. That's good. That's good. Uh, you about to get down to the village, y'all. You about to make it happen, man. Yes, sir. That right there. Pick him up a little bit. So y'all can see these. They clean, but they low to the flow for sure. They hand held. You can still hold them in your hand with no problem. As you can see, they short and stubby for sure. Look at Just the way we like them, y'all. Yes, sir. They ain't making them like this. They ain't making them like this, y'all. All right, yes, sir. I've been keeping these ones in the cut on, y'all. Believe it or not, these is off of Believe in Brown Sugar. This is actually the repeat breeding. If y'all remember way back when, my girl Sugar Bear that I just showed y'all earlier in the video, she came from that Believe in Brown Sugar breeding, the first breeding. Also, my boy Incredible came from that breeding. And that boy Zinc, that boy Zinc doing his thing out there in New Jersey. He came from that breeding as well. But man, check it out. I ran it back and they dropped a two piece. And these pups looking super good. They just turned five weeks old uh, yesterday. They just turned five weeks old. This right here, solid black female. And this right here, lilac male, super nice. Boned up, stupid thick, nice head pieces on them. I'm gonna try to throw them up on the table so y'all can kind of check them out. Both of these pups are spoken for. Both of these pups are spoken for. This male right here, he actually gonna be going to Canada, y'all. And this girl, this girl is going to Florida. So shout out to my guy Josh out in Canada. And shout out to my guy Tune out there in Florida, man. This actually gonna be his second female that he getting from me. And my guy out there in Canada, man, he bringing me all the way out to Toronto. So 
it's, it's, we making major moves. Like I said, we got a lot going on over here at Queen City Bullies. I'm definitely excited about that. We're going to hit that road, head out to Toronto, deliver the pup to him in person. It's most definitely going down, y'all. All right, I'm going to put the pups on the table. I don't know if they going to be still or whatnot. But like I said, these is off of Believe in Brown Sugar 2.0, y'all. This is the 2.0 breeder. Or maybe I'll just hold him in my hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you'll hold him for me. I'll let y'all see her. Like I said, this girl will be going to Florida. She's super nice, y'all. She's super nice. She clean as can be. You already know how Believe in Brown Sugar do. This is the second time around. They ain't play no games the first time. Why would they play the second time, you feel me? Look at this right here, man. She's super clean, like I said, nice, nice rear end on them. They ain't number five, so she don't, she don't want to be still. But I just want y'all to get kind of a glimpse of what we working with over here, man. Like I said, the pup's looking super good. They just turned five weeks old. She's super thick in the body, as you can see, full tail, looking super clean. Neck and shoulders didn't already came in. Her neck and shoulders was in when she came out. I ain't even gonna hold y'all. Look at this girl, though. She black, jet black. She kind of put you in the mind frame of uh, R.I.P. Grimm. She definitely put you in the mind frame of Grim. These puppies is uh, they two times Grim. They line bred Grim, so I, I would expect this girl to turn out to be super nice, super nice. Y'all know how we coming, man. Y'all know how we coming. We we loading them up. We hitting them hard with the neck and shoulders, all that, man. Y'all see how we coming with it, man. Now I'm gonna show y'all this boy. Trey Grim, snuck this boy from you. Now I got to show y'all this boy. To be completely honest with y'all. I wanted to keep this boy. I was really uh, considering keeping this boy because y'all, like I said, we already know what that first breeding did. They had two pups, the first or two males the first time, and three females. I ended up uh, keeping one male, co-owning the other male, and then I kept a female and I co-owned one of the other females too. So that lets y'all know uh, how important the blood is to me and the breeding that I put together between Brown Sugar and Believe, which is basically my foundation male, my foundation female, my my top dogs if you if you ask me but look at that boy right there he's super clean i know that lilac -like hitting hard in the sun man i'm gonna put him down so y'all can see him up on the table that's if he want to stand up they just turned five weeks they ain't never been outside they ain't never been on the table so they fresh out of the weapon box with it look at that right there look at that right there man you can see that chest piece on that boy he's super clean the pup's feet always come out clean every time i would believe like he's just stamping them with them feet man look at that he got the head piece we got the head piece, the boy looking good, man. He's stupid thick too, got a full tail, neck and shoulders on crazy time. Like I said, this boy will be going to Canada. He gonna be repping hard for that Young Believe Nation. Way, way, way up north, you get what I'm saying? Look at that right there, man. We doing it big out here, man, with the Queen City Bullies, man. Young Believe Nation, look at that right there. That lilac busting, I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. I definitely wanted to keep this boy out. I, I see all the potential in him and then, See, for me, I done already did this breed, and I know how it's going to turn out. I've seen all five of the puppies grow up mature and how they look full grown, and I'm loving what I'm seeing. That's why I ran the breeding back. But nonetheless, uh, my guy Toon and Josh ended up snagging both of these pups up from me. So they got in where they fit in. Make sure y'all get in where y'all fit in. I'm going to show y'all some more pups that I got available. I got a Frenchie available, and I got quite a few more Young Believe Nation pups available too, y'all. So y'all stay tuned. All right, y'all, next up, we're going to switch it up and make a change of pace. I'm going to show y'all this Frenchie that I got available, this female right here. I'm actually looking to co-own her. I, I really don't want to sell her. I want to co-own her. So if you're interested in co-owning this female right here, like I said, she pie ball, uh, blue and tan. You can see the track markers on the side of her face right here. She got them on both sides. And if you look close, if you look real close, she got uh, tan points over her, over her eyes and a little bit on her ears as well. So this girl right here, she's going to be super nice. She thick as can be. I want to say she is seven weeks old. She's seven weeks old. She's just about ready to go. So if you see if you see this girl and you're interested in doing a co-own, hit me up. My phone number will be down here at the bottom of the screen. I really feel like this girl would be nice to get your program started. Or if you already then got in the Frenchie game and you're just looking to make a, a, a nice addition, I'm telling you, this girl right here, she's super nice. If you come close, come close with me. Like if you look right here, she got a little heart on the side of her uh, on the side of her shoulder right here. I'm gonna stack her up on the table for y'all. That's if she wanna be still. Like these pups ain't never been on the table before. But I want y'all to kind of get a close up on them so y'all can see. As you see, she got that mean mug on her. I love the face on her girl. I think she's super nice. Let me cut open, come over here. I'm gonna come over here so the shadow won't be over. Yeah, look at that right there though. She looking super nice though. Like I said, she got that mean mug, that blue and tan really hitting in the sun. You can really see it. She pied, 
blue and tan, looking super good. Her dad is Bugatti, which is a blue and tan Merle. And her mom is Gladys Knight, which is a black and tan. So she loaded with color. She a throw color for sure. Um, like I said, if you're interested in the coat on, hit me up. We can work something out. And then we can talk about uh, who we gonna run her to. I got a stud, my boy um, Maybach. He is a chocolate and tan Merle. We could use him. Or if you got an, uh, you got another idea, I'm definitely open to suggestions. Or if you got a male, or if you got your eyes on a stud that you might want to invest in and bring it to the yard, we can definitely talk about that as well. But like I said, man, this girl right here, she is available for a co-own opportunity. Look at her, man. She's super nice. I think she's going to be thick and short. If y'all remember my, uh, I'm going to have to do an update on my uh, girl Whitney, man. My girl Whitney is actually her sister from a different, uh, they got the same mom, different dad. So if y'all see my girl Whitney, which she's like a year and a half now, she should be coming to heat soon. I'm actually gonna run her to my boy Maybach. That's gonna be his first breed. And so y'all be on the lookout, man. We, we cooking up, we heating up with the Frenchies. Y'all know we kind of dibbled and dabbed in it a year ago, but we coming in hard this year. Our productions is growing and maturing. And now we about to go back in and start running them. So y'all know how we do, man. Y'all stay tuned. Yes, sir, ski. <laughs> Alright y'all, y'all see I got this blue trap. This is actually off of Believe and Beloved, man. If y'all know Believe and Beloved, y'all know this girl looks just like both of them. This is off of one of my productions, bred back to her daddy. So this is in brand Believe right here, y'all. Two pounds Believe. Some of the best of the best of my productions right here. I'm deciding to let this girl go. Y'all know she had two pups, two females, a lilac trap and a blue trap. So I'm going to be uh, holding on to the lilac trap. But I'm going to go ahead and let this girl go. So if you see this girl, you're interested in her, I'm going to let her move around with her uh, with her mom and dad because I want y'all to see how much she really looks like her mama. Her daddy, look at her. Look at her. She ain't got no name yet, but look at her. Look just like her mama. Wait. I think he about to use the bathroom, but she definitely going to be special, man. I expect her to be super nice. Her mama just turned two years old. As you can see, her mama loaded with the neck and shoulders. Low to the flow. She looking just like her. Here you he come. He come now. Come on. Big boy. Come here, big boy. Believe. Come here, man. they all together you can really see like in the face the body not even just the color the, the feet the way she move around everything so i expect her to be super thick low to the flow compact for show as young believe nation that's two times young believe nation like i told y'all that girl i'm making her available i would definitely definitely be interested in doing a co-own with her i'm looking to sell her outright but like i said if you want a co-owner with me, I would definitely be interested in doing a co-own too. I'm gonna pick her up again. And the child kind of seen her walking around with her mama and daddy. I would definitely be interested in doing a co-own with her. Now I sell her outright, that's the goal. But if you want to work out a co-own with her, make sure you come with a bag and we'll work it out. Because this girl will definitely take somebody program to the next level. Like I said, I already know what the blood do. Like I said, I, I produced her mom, ran her back to her dad, which is my top stud. He been producing nothing but fire for me. She threw down in a real major way. So I already know you get this dog, she definitely gonna take your program to the next level. So tap in, look at her. She got a super nice headpiece on her. She, uh, they was born in December, so they three months. She three months old, looking super good, looking just like her daddy. 
It don't make no sense how much she looked just like her daddy, y'all. So y'all tap in, look at her. She thick in the body. Full tail, neck and shoulders, muscle tone already. Make no make no mistake about it. I'm gonna go ahead and put her down again so y'all can see her moving and grooving around with her parents. Y'all see it, man. That's that believe on top of believe right there. You know what I mean? You got to believe in yourself, and then after that, you got to believe in yourself again. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> but that's that right there for sure, man. Like I said, I've been holding on to them. I wanted my intentions was to keep both of them, but y'all know we can't keep them all. So I kind of narrowed it down to what I want to do now. So I'm gonna go ahead and let her go. She gonna be super nice, but I'm gonna bless somebody else. Like I said, if you want to do the coat on thing, you definitely can do that too. But I'll sell her outright. Just hit the number at the bottom of the screen. Shoot me a text, give me a call. But be, be serious y'all. Make sure that you're serious when you hit me up that you got full all intentions and purposes on purchasing a dog from me. Because y'all see, we busy over here. We working, we got breedings that we doing. We got dogs that we taking care of. We got we got small pups, we got older pups, we got grown dogs that we taking care of. So we ain't got time to be playing around. If you want to hit us up, you got questions, that's cool. We open to questions or whatever the case might be. But for all that playing around and joking, just ain't really trying to make nothing happen, we ain't with that y'all. But look at that girl right there. She looking super good. She looking super good. Look at that right there. That's that stack right there. You see it, yeah. Yeah, that's that young believe nation right there. She a little shy. She ain't never been outside. She never been outside either. But as you see, the more she getting comfortable, you know what I mean? She's starting to show off that structure. I really don't want to let her go. But like I say, I can't be greedy and keep both of the females. So I'm gonna let her go, keep the other one. And if y'all want to do the co-owned thing, like I said, we can do that too. She definitely gonna turn somebody's program up. So. Don't try to low bomb me on that girl. I know what I got. Y'all know I paid a 10 ball for Believe. And then I got so much invested into the production of his daughter as well. So y'all see her, he spit, he literally spit her out. He literally spit her out. She just turned two years old and she fresh off her litter. She bouncing back from having her litter. So that lets you know, man, how we coming with it, y'all. So y'all make sure y'all tap in. We gonna move right along though. We ain't gonna end the video right here. Y'all make sure y'all stay tuned, smack that like button. Like I said, if you're new to the channel, Make sure you subscribe, ring that notification bell. You don't want to miss out when we, when we drop these videos. You want to be notified so that you can get that, so you can see what we got going on over here. Because like I said, we, we're turning up in a real major way. We took a little break, but we're definitely about to get all the way, all the way, all the way back into it, man. So y'all stay tuned. Next up, I'm finna, uh, I'm gonna show y'all an incredible daughter that I got. We ain't had many incredible daughters, but we actually got a whole litter. In the next video, I'm gonna show y'all a whole video um, shout out to my guy Big Time Kennels. We're gonna pull back up on him. He got a litter of believe, uh, incredible pups off of his believed daughter. We took believed son to a believed daughter. Y'all know how we're doing it. Two times believe thing. We're coming super hard with the believed blood, man. We're trying to put that young believed nation on the map, y'all. We're here to stay with it. But right now, I'm gonna show y'all one of the incredible daughters that I got. Lilac female. She's super thick. She's seven, no, she's eight weeks old now. She's eight weeks old now. She's gonna be getting her ears cropped real soon. When I get those believe, and uh, when I get those Believe in Brown Sugar Pups ears done, which would be like in another week or two, I'm gonna get her ears done too. But I'm gonna pull her out. I'm actually gonna pull Incredible out too. Y'all gotta see Incredible, man. This boy is looking crazy. Hold on. I had to pull out my son, Incredible, and his daughter, man. So y'all can see that boy Incredible looking crazy, y'all. Video, pictures, none of that ain't gonna do no justice. Like I, I always be saying, man, I advise y'all see this boy in person. He the real deal. I'm talking about he thick as can be. I'm gonna stack him up so y'all can kind of get a glimpse of how this boy looking. But I'm gonna show y'all his daughter first. Look at this girl right here. She's super thick. I'm gonna hold him real quick. That boy. She's super thick. Look at her. Looking just like him. She thick in the body. She eating good, y'all. Look at that right there. I'm making this girl available too. She lilac. She fully lilac coat. Looking super good. Neck and shoulders on this girl already looking good, man. She is gorgeous, man. I, I ain't got no problem keeping this girl, but I'm making her available so y'all better tap in. Get in while the getting is good, y'all. I got some nice, high quality pups that's gonna be available, y'all, for sure. Look at her. She got clean feet on her. She boned up. She lazy, though. She don't want to stand up on her two feet. She's scared, too. Look at that right there, though. But you can already see, man. She low to the flow. I want to say she is about like a... 
I don't know, she might be like nine or ten weeks old. If she's staying low to the floor, she's staying compact, she's definitely staying thick. I want to show her from the side so y'all can see her from the side, see how thick she is. I expect this girl to be thick as can be, man. Look at her. She's definitely thick. She got a nice rear. She don't want to stand up. Like I said, this is her first time being on the table. But I want y'all to kind of see her at all angles, as y'all see. That lilac hitting real good on her now. She looking real good. Incredible daughter. Y'all know it's incredible season. I'm beginning to take him to everything. Y'all just seen Beloved, my beloved daughter, out here with her daddy and her daughter. I'm actually going to run them two together. I'm going to run Incredible to Beloved. I'm super excited about that. And let me grab Incredible. Thank you, honey. Mm -hmm. Maybe back up just a little bit, I guess. As you can see, man, incredible, looking super good, man. He looking larger than life. This boy done popped in a real major way. He ain't even turned two yet. He won't be two until uh, the end of May. So he like a year and a half, a year and eight or nine months, something like that. But look at that boy right there, man. That's all bull right there, y'all. That's all bull right there, man. Like I said, if you need to add that bone and that girth into your life, you're trying to thicken it up, you need to uh, improve your pedigrees. This boy two times rim, top and bottom. He a believe son. Big red, two times him, like I said, his pedigree, super loaded. Look at him, man, he the real deal, like I said. Videos, pictures, I never do this boy no justice. He like pushing 90 pounds on a 14 inch frame, believe it or not. Just look at him, man. Just look at him. Just look at him. Look at that right there, man. This, off the first breeding that I did with Believe in Brown Sugar, like I told y'all, I, I repeated the breeding. I showed y'all the pups that's going to Canada and Florida. And as y'all see why they tapped in, because they produce pups like this, like I told y'all, they produced Sugar Bear. I showed y'all Sugar Bear at the very beginning of the video when I bred her to uh, Gino Boy Littlefoot. That breeding gonna go so hard. But y'all see how we slowly putting it together, man. It's a, it's a, it's a process. It takes time. It takes years. It's, it, it's been years, and it's gonna take more time. But we slowly chiseling away and laying it brick by brick. But y'all see how we coming, man. Y'all see the improvements that we have made over the years. And just stay tuned. Stay on the lookout for what we got to come. Look at this lazy boy. Right here. <laughs> stay on the lookout for what we got to come, man. We definitely gonna keep cooking it up. Come on, boy. This boy is open for stud. As y'all see, he producing. I can't wait till my girl Beloved come in heat. Y'all make sure y'all tap in, come get some of this incredible. Yes, sir. We out of here, y'all.